This is the guitar lesson for Sugar Rays every morning from GuitarMadeEasy.com. First things first, make sure your guitar is tuned to half step down. So you just gotta loosen your strings just a little bit, okay? And your E should sound like this. Okay? Now there's a couple different parts of this song. I'm gonna show you each part and then just piece them where they go in the song, okay? It's best to practice along with the original recording. So if you don't have the CD or the original recording, go on YouTube, you can find um, plenty of them on there, okay? So the song starts off like this. All right, what I need right there was I'm focusing on only the B and the G string. Those two guys right there, okay? So <clears throat> what I'm doing is I slide up to, I use my middle finger and my pointer finger and I slide all the way up to my middle finger on the fifth fret B string and my pointer finger on the fourth fret G string, okay? So, all right, so I pluck it twice and then I take my pinky and I put that on the seventh fret B string, take it off, put it on, take it off, so. That's the first part. Now we move the same shape down to the second and third fret. All right, we do the same thing. Now our pinky is going to be in the fifth fret B string. All right, now we take our middle finger off. We bar the second fret on both the G and the B string. So we go. All right, so barred on the second fret on the B and the G and I pluck it once, both strings. Every time I pluck, I'm plucking both strings, guys, on this part of the song. So, I pluck it uh, one time barred, and then I put my middle finger on the third fret B string, and then take it off. Okay, so so far we should have. Then I slide up with my middle finger on the sixth, up all the way up to the sixth fret on the G string, and my pointer finger is going to be on the fifth fret B string, okay? So, see that? And now I'm going to hammer on with my ring finger on the seventh fret B string. And now I'm going to pluck the fifth fret B string, the seventh fret, G string, and then I already have my middle finger on the sixth fret G string, okay? So the whole thing together sounds like this. All right, that last part's a little bit tricky. You gotta be able to pick very fast, okay? So I'm doing, doing it just like that, okay? That's the most complicated part of the song. Now the majority of the song, the verse and throughout um, the other parts of the song, it's very simple. It's just A, E, D, E. That's the chord progression, okay? So it goes. The strumming pattern for that is like this. It goes, so down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, over and over again, okay? There are a couple parts where you can hear, it's just down strums, it goes, whoop, let me do that again. If you're a beginner, you can just do the down strums and you'll sound pretty good too. All right, the next part I'm gonna show you is this part. It goes like this, it goes. All you're doing is you're going back and forth with these octaves, okay? So all I'm doing is I have my pinky on the 12th fret E string 
and my pointer finger on the ninth fret G string, okay? Those are two E notes I'm hitting. I'm actually muting with the pad of my pointer finger the B string, so I'm not really letting the B string ring. It's just the G and the E, okay? And I'm just basically going from the 12th fret and the 9th fret to the 11th fret and the 8th fret down to the 10th fret and the 7th fret. And then I go right back up. I maintain the same shape the entire time. All right? So that part's actually very easy, and then it goes right back into the verse of the song. All right, the final part I'm gonna show you is where the song slows down a little bit, and Mark McGrath goes, She always writes the wrong for me, baby. She always writes the wrong for me. Okay, and then it goes back into the verse of the song. So all I'm doing right there is I'm just palm muting power chords. So I have the D power chord right here. This is on the fifth and seventh fret. That's where it starts. It goes. All right, then I slide up to the seventh and ninth fret. Then I go down to the fifth and seventh fret based off of the E string. This is the A power chord. And then to the second and fourth fret for F sharp. Now I go back to D. For me. All right, guys, and that's it. Please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. If you haven't already, please go to mysecretguitartips.com and download my top secret guitar tips absolutely free. That's my gift to you. And if you'd like me to show you how I learned how to play guitar, please go to teachmeguitar.guitarmadeeasy.com and I'll show you how. All right, guys, I will see you in the next guitar lesson. Thanks.